Today, Maurice Four is too old to run for office, but in his stamping ground of Cahors, 100 kilometers north of Toulouse, many people would still vote for him. After a long political career, Four's daily constitutional looks more like beating the campaign trail than a gentle stroll. It's clear that here Four can hardly take a step without someone wanting to shake his hand. Fifty years since the Treaty of Rome. It seems like yesterday. There were 12 of us around this big table, and out of them, 11 are dead. I'm the last. This is Maurice Faure, then Secretary of State for European Affairs, signing the treaty before passing it to Konrad Adenauer, the German Chancellor on his left. Here's the big table. The Italians were well organized for these ceremonies and thought of everything when it came to the seating arrangements. The photo never lies and Four is thus immortalized in august company, but only just. I'm hidden between French Foreign Minister Christian Pinot and Adenauer. You can hardly see me, and the French delegation is sat behind me. I felt I was living a great moment. I lived through the whole process as I was the lead negotiator, although I was just part of a team. I really felt with conviction that alliances were being overturned, that France, Germany and Italy were on the road to reconciliation. Which is exactly what happened. It was a great moment, truly great. I was really happy. When I entered Parliament in June 1951, I had absolutely no idea, or at least no detailed idea, of what Europe was. But very quickly, I committed to the project. To be a European meant creating a new Europe. This would take some time, but the goal was a political Europe, united and forming a great power. That's what it meant to be European. In Faure's native region of Chiasi, being European has always been synonymous with the love of the land and its products. Truffles here are so good and plentiful, they're known as Chiasi's black diamonds. You have to think of truffles like perfume. When you use them, they have to be ever-present, dominant even, because the truffle wants to rule and doesn't like fighting for its place. Truffles like to be complemented by flexible ingredients, you see. Mr. Four has always been someone who brings his wisdom to the table. He loves his food and knows what he's tasting. I was very popular here, first of all because I wasn't proud or vain. It was easy to meet people and above all I went to eat with them. I have to admit, I like my food. During negotiations for the Treaty of Rome, I invited my German counterpart, Halstein, here in the lot for three days. It was pretty good. Spark, Belgium's foreign minister, came for lunch too. And later I invited Gaetano Martino from Messina, with Pleven and some others. 
euh, est venu dans le Lot euh, à mon invitation avec Préven et d'autres. Euh, Uh, Marjola visited, so it was very much a family affair in some ways. Ça a été une affaire de famille, un peu, un peu. Voilà. Looking at things like this makes it easier to understand how France persuaded its then five partners to make the common agricultural policy Europe's first great joint initiative. But equally, it's easy to understand why any French food lover is today irritated by Germany's refusal to approve lower VAT for restaurants. Four feels that the great moments of European construction are now firmly in the past. I thought the 50th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome would be held there on the same day, same time and in the same place. Only the personalities would change, except for me. Perhaps it'll be in Berlin, because the Germans who are currently presiding over the EU want it to be there. A dit à Mandel, ce sera à Berlin. Ce sera à Berlin. So the Treaty of Rome will be celebrated in Berlin. And for me, that's an aberration. C'est une aberration. I don't think this will provide the European Commission with a big shot in the arm. It may produce some results, but they'll be poor, mediocre ones. Ça peut donner quelques résultats, mais. In fact, long drawn out talks among the EU's 27 members have been going on to try in Berlin to recapture the energy of Europe's origins. They might have been better off talking round a dinner table here in Kaur, because there's plenty here to inspire the whole of the old continent. As the politician and chef agree, there can be no great cuisine without truffles. Voilà. Voilà. Voilà.